Okay, so I did my project on Annie Oakley, and she was the first woman to ever shoot a gun, and she shot a gun. She was begging and begging her father, her stepfather, to shoot his gun, and he wouldn't let her. So finally, on Thanksgiving, he let her shoot a gun and shot the turkey right in the head, so it was like dead the first time and she had a perfect shot and she was also famous for um, presenting on stage and was always wanting to be in the spotlight for whatever she did. Um, she started her career with Frank which is her husband now and she they went on a tour with the Buffalo Billy's Wild West show, and she was performing and doing all these shows about shooting and everything. And so they pretty much they pretty much adopted her, which like took her under her, his wing and stuff like that, and called her the Little Short Sure Shot. Um, Annie and Butler, which is Frank's last name, joined the Wild West show in 1885. The couple um, toured with them for about a decade and a half, and then they finally started, or when they were done, she retired from it and the audience was just amazed about what she could do. And then they like got a dog, which they adopted a dog, Dave, which would later, when they returned to the show, um, be in the show. Can you scroll down, please? Um, so back, some background information is that she, when she joined the Wild West show, she, um, had this rival called Lillian Smith, and she, they did the show together for a little bit, and then Annie decided to um, quit, and she took a break for a little bit, and then once she heard that Lillian retired, she knew that it was her time to go back, and she went back and did some more stage things. Um, Annie had eight siblings and they were all girls. And so her mother couldn't take care of them all, so Annie had to go to a shelter and like take care of herself. And she had to take care of the sick too while she was there. Um, Annie Oakley's not her real name. Her real name is Phoebe Ann Moses. Um, her she when she could raise, she raised enough money to like pay off the loans for the houses and everything. She came back and then finally married Frank. Um, Annie and Frank got into a railroad accident and she was paralyzed. And so after she was recovered, she went back to the stage and started performing again. Um, During World War I, Oakley volunteered to organize regiment female sh sharpshooters, which meant like she was helping like littler kids, females that to shoot really good and how to shoot and stuff. And she, once she knew that she couldn't help, or she like got turned down by this company because she couldn't do anything. So instead, she helped raise money for the Red Cross, and she went to army camps. Um, how long did she live? She <coughs> was born August 13, 1860, in Dark Country, Ohio. She married Frank in 1878, um, and would become a star attraction for 
Buffalo Bills Wild West show for years. Then she, reti she retired in 1913 and came back home to um, dark, con er, yeah, dark country. And then she like, realized that she never fully recovered from the accident and she got this um, disease and which what the doctors think that caused her death was Pernicus anoma and Frank after she died Frank started to not care and stop eating and everything and Pernicus anoma means that the blood you cannot produce enough red blood cells because it doesn't have enough vitamin vitamin B12 and then Annie died on November 3rd, 1926. You go up to the picture. And then this is Annie Oakley when she was performing in a show, shooting. Her gun. All right. Um, I had a couple questions for you. you. You talked a little bit about her stage performance. Can you kind of give the audience an idea of you know, if they went to go see um, a Buffalo Bill Cody Wild West show, what is she doing when she's performing? I mean, what, what would she be doing that would really be, like, awe-inspiring or we would think would be really entertaining? Um, she would, like, go around and, like, have these shows about, about her shooting. So she would, like, go and shoot different things around, and around the show. So they had, like, targets set up and they go and have her shoot around so she's it. a trick shot. Mm -hmm. So she can make really tough shots. That, mm -hmm. like, she's not just going around shooting animals and yeah. like, look and Yeah. Animal. Um, I found on the internet that she, she, her husband had like, a cigarette at the end and she shot like the head of it and like, vi like missed him and then hit something else. Like, like a, like a shot. Like a lot of trust in that mm -hmm. I don't think I'd let my wife shoot guns at me. <laughs> On purpose or accident. No. Okay. Um, let's talk a little bit about, <clears throat> she's from Ohio, right? Mm -hmm. And she's from Dark County, which is not too far away from us. Mm -hmm. um, how did you first find out about Annie Oakley? Um, what inspired you to do this? Well, I, when I was like littler, we went to Greenville and I was like, saw her grave, or not her grave, but like her, when she, ad when they, she got adopted by Greenville. And so it has her like stand and everything. <coughs> Okay. Why don't you tell the audience a little bit about your memorial and how much money you think it would cost to build it? Um, I think it would cost about $140 million to build it and the stand and everything and like the whole um, person to build it and everything. Okay. okay. This is my memorial. It's her grave and on her grave says Annie Oakley, 1926 at rest and then um, I put Annie Oakley on it to represent that it's like actually her in her grave. And how do you think you'll come up with the funds to, to construct this? And wh where do you think it'll be located? Um, I thought that we could do like some relay races to help raise money for it and have some different stations if you don't like running. If you don't like running, we can have like different stations where you can like make art and stuff about her and write like, stuff about her and like raise money for it. And then um, I think it would be like, what was the question? What was the other question? Where in Washington, D.C. did you want to build this at? Um, When students visit this, what's the number one thing that you want them to take away as like the lesson? Um, that it that, like men don't have to be the only one who will be able to shoot. It's like girls can do as much as men can do. And that brings us right to ten minutes. Thank you very much. Let's give a round of applause.